Cheers is filmed before a live studio audience. He's gone. You gotta go on with your life now. I mean, you gotta pick up the pieces and, and start behaving like a mature person. Well, now you're cooking. All right. Excuse me. Mr. Drake seems to have forgotten his top coat. Tell him it's hanging on the coat rack. Yeah, uh, I believe Mr. Drake's uh, top coat is in the top coat closet. Sam, I said to tell him. Yes, we keep all of our executive top coats in this closet right here. It's uh, way in the back there. Way, way in the back. Oh, watch the hat there. Watch the hat. There do not appear to be any top coats in here. Oops. <laughs> My mistake. Oh. 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 Whoa. Oh. Does, does anyone have a key here for this closet? I'm, I'm afraid we're going to have to make a key there. Can you hold on? Oh, yeah. Be quick. Oh, dear. Martin seems to be locked in the closet there. Does anyone know how to drive a limo around here? Oh, I've driven a tractor. Can't be that different. <laughs> Now, Woody, when I said anyone, I meant Rebecca. Well, in the future, Sam, you might try using a little something that's popular back in Indiana called direct address. <laughs> no sudden movement. No need to worry. I'm just going to take them home with me. I just hope I have exact change for the bus. No sudden movement. True. Car, come on, it's not true. I knew that. You're a lousy actor. <laughs> I'm pretty good, though. Huh? Yeah. Well, actually, Carla, as a student of the theater, I have to correct you. What you were doing there is not called acting, it's called improvising. Shut up, Woody. Now, that would be directing. <laughs> I have a lot of work to do here, so please make sure I'm not disturbed. Yes, ma'am. Miss Howe, you want me to hold business and personal calls? Yes. You got it. Yes! Miss Howe, uh, what if it's an emergency or something only you can handle? Woody, I'm turning the bar over to you. I have complete confidence. <laughs> Sal, I want you to know how much I appreciate your confidence. <laughs> I won't let you down. Woody, I am trying to get some work done here and you are driving me crazy. Now get out of here and leave me alone. She is. Everybody, I want you to meet Franzi Shrimp. Hey there. Hi there. Oh, oh, oh. Welcome to the bar, Franzi. We're all, uh, we're, well, we're big fans of yours. Thank you. Well, we were just wondering that you're here in Boston. Uh, well, what are your plans? Well, while I'm here, I would like to wear blue jeans, see a Tom Cruise movie, and eat a Big Mac. Whoa, sexy, dumb, and a cheap date. <laughs> Spirit at the time. I wouldn't mind having some arms talk with Franzi. <laughs> I'd like to see her try to control my arms. <laughs> I wouldn't object to a little mutual on site inspection. <laughs> see what kind of payload she can deliver. <laughs> Produce missiles in Western Europe. <laughs> Listen, I'm talking about the Occasional back rub, the general all-around pampering. You know, maybe buy one of those low-cut frilly dresses. Oh, you mean that total woman BS? I find that completely repulsive. Well, that explains all the men beating down your door, doesn't it? <laughs> Sweetheart, 
listen, you, you got to become the ideal woman. You know, treat him like a god. Cater to his every whim. Oh, yuck. I can't do that. I can't do frilly. You know what they say. You can catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. Well, maybe I shouldn't be butting in here, but you can catch the most with dead squirrels. <laughs> That make me look like I put on a little weight. The alpha? Uh, yeah, no, that's what it must be. Right. Yeah, turn around. Let me see. Yeah, blame it on the outfit. Yeah. You know, you've been wearing an awful lot of fat clothes recently, haven't you? Oh, just shut up, butthead. <laughs> she called me butthead. I think I'm gonna cry. Oh, don't worry, Sam. It only looks that way from the back. <laughs> Boy, my Aunt Edna's killer fudge brownies. Oh, killers, eh? Yeah, they're called that because the first time my Uncle Ford ever smelled them baking, he came running in from the field and got hit by a combine. <laughs> he hung on for a few days. At the end, he was just praying to die. Well, eat up, everybody. <laughs> Sam, aren't you getting something? I know, I know. I'm gonna drop by the old drugstore. Don't worry, I learned my lesson. Did you hear this? What? Does the name God bring a bell? Yeah? The guy you made a vow to? Oh. Yeah, boy, I almost forgot about that. Uh, that's no big thing. No big thing? Come on, God's a sport. <laughs> People make promises like that all the time, but if God had to collect on all of them, he wouldn't have any time to create natural wonders like that, for instance. I'll see you. Oh, oh, boy. Just give me a minute here. Listen, Sammy, I don't want to tell you how to run your life, but I want to tell you this. Don't mess with God. Look at all the people in the Bible who did. The entire population of Sodom and Gomorrah. Lot's wife turned into a salt lick with boobs. <laughs> Come on, what, what's he gonna do? Reach down in the clouds and snatch me up? Yeah, you... Hold, infidel! 